I have a funny job. Who is that guy? Where the heck am I? And will the drone footage come out? Coming up on Worst Retirement Ever. <laughs> Bombs away. I'm Phil Gunn. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years, racing all over the world. Now I'm retired, but I'm not done suffering on my bike, climbing mountains as fast as I can, and going on crazy adventures. I couldn't be the best at racing, and I'm definitely the worst at retiring. Welcome to Worst Retirement Ever. So I'm doing a new thing since I got back from Europe. Uh, I got a cool new mountain bike from Factor that was sitting there. I've got my own gravel event coming up. There's, there's this whole world of awesome uh, trails and gravel uh, near me in Malibu. So all the cool climbs that I've shared on my channel before, there's a whole other world that I hadn't messed with. The problem is, so now I've been exploring these gravel, I've been getting some KOMs, but I can't film it. It's hard to film it because normally I have like a car following me or a selfie stick and riding on dirt requires two hands and they don't allow cars here. Uh, today's gonna be a little bit different. Today I have, uh, well, I have this doohickey that, that mounts here. I have a doohickey is a technical term. You don't have to worry about these technical terms. Um, and I also have uh, a drone uh, in my backpack here. Uh, and then lastly, I have a friend uh, who's, who's a, a real gravel pro. Well, you were a road pro. You're just all kinds yeah, of pros. Was, yeah. uh, Stefano, we were teammates approximately 8 million years ago. Um, on, on Kenda Pro Cycling. We now share the sponsors of... Kenda, Black Bib, Starlight. Starlight, yeah. yeah. We're both wearing the, the aerodynamic uh, suit, right? We're do, doing the... Yeah, the, the road suit from Starlight. <laughs> right, the road suit, so we got pockets. But the uh, Dylan Johnson could tell us that this is more or less aerodynamic to have the chest camera. <laughs> So Stefano was our official gravel consultant. So for the Whiskey Tango Fondo, April 29th in, uh, I, now that means I have to edit it before April 29th, uh, April 29th in Lone Pine. For, uh, for that, we had, I needed a gravel consultant because I don't, people are asking me what tires to ride. And I was like, I don't know, I gotta ask somebody too because I'm new to this whole thing. So he went and checked them out. These are the 40s of the, the Kenda Alluviums. Uh, we'll be doing awesome. 45s. Here, we can start riding now. Hang on, I'm gonna put this in the doohickey. All right, so we got the doohickey going here. The doohickey on the doohickey. It's still kind of bouncy, though. Um, Stefano and I, well, I'll turn around. You can look at the thing, not look at my ugly face. Here. There you go. That's better, right? It's a foggy day, but it could burn off. This is, it's April, but we call this the June gloom. What, it, what might entirely happen is I have drone footage where you can't see anything. Uh, that would be kind of the story of my life. To get to there will be a KOM today. Well, hopefully, you know, there's gonna be an attempt. There's an owl in there somewhere. I can't see him, but you can hear him. Now he has stage fright. You got it, buddy. There he is. All right, Stefano, so our climb today is uh, Paseo Miramar uh, from there's a gate down there and there's a gate up that away. Um, I thought this would be a good kind of scientific experiment, if you will, or, or, or a, a not, I'm not going to call it a race, but uh, whatever, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be a video where I'm the hill climber and it's like 15% this bit, it's super steep at the beginning, and then it flattens out. And like it still rolls, but uh, it's definitely more like gravel cyclist territory. And you're not a bad climber yourself by any means. Just from from following you down the thing, I was like, oh yeah, he's better than me at, uh, at these parts. <laughs> uh, this is a very good chance I crash. So you know, keep your distance. And I'm saying that you know just to be safe. So you you lived here. You lived in, uh, yeah. in Thousand Oaks for a yeah. long time. Stefano has been sending me routes because he knows all this way better. I know every road within you know. 40 miles of here and I've been getting lost on all the trails. How beautiful right now. Look at this, all these wildflowers and it's weird, huh? All the rain we got? Yeah, it's been three years since I've been here and you know, I don't remember having grass on the side. <laughs> it's usually, you know, it's usually yeah, this just was all, dirt. This was all dusty, deserty. So let's soak this in while we have it. Um, but over there, that's, uh, that's Santa Monica and Palisades, Santa Monica. You can kind of see it's foggy, you kind of see like LAX is over that away, but Malibu, yeah, nice day. All right, let's ruin it. You ready? Let's do it. 
And today we've also got this doohickey. To be clear, before you think this is an ad for a drone, this thing sucks, don't buy it. The real race against the clock today is that the battery usually only lasts 15 minutes and the KOM is 1520. So not only do I have to beat it or risk losing this $2,000 gizmo, we have zero time to mess around once it gets in the air. So you're not getting a warm up and I still have to hide my bag in the bushes. We're in the air. Uh, where am I? Oh, hey, there I am. What's up? All right, quick ride down to the start. Stefano was waiting just around the corner uh, at the start, along with some very confused construction workers. <laughs> Bombs away. Uh, we're gonna start out with well, it's steep. <laughs> uh, it's this is this was a tricky one to pace because the because the first half is so steep. Hey, ladies, the hikers were friendly on this one. I I, I didn't edit them out on purpose. Um, the a lot of hikers, even though it's a it was a kind of a foggy day out um, with the winter we were having, the LA folks are taking what they can get. Um, this this K1 was previously held by uh, local Ryan Steers, who's a mountain biker. Uh, I believe he was on a mountain bike. And hats off to Ryan Steers. The the live segment at the beginning. That's part of why I was I was going so hard at the beginning. Was uh, I wasn't gaining time. There's Stefano Cam, uh, Stefano chasing me. Um, his cam wasn't in best angle, so we're not going to use a whole lot of that. Uh, here's more more hikers. Um, at, at this speed, it's perfectly safe to, <laughs> to mix hikers and cyclists. But uh, on my on the live segment on my Wahoo, I was was barely gaining on on Ryan Steers on the mountain bike on this part, um, which makes me think another experiment could be in order of, of mountain bike on certain gradients. A, a light mountain bike might be a, a better advantage of suspension. I don't know, but I was not gaining on him a whole lot there. Not as much as I expected. He's he's a he's a bigger guy. He's super tall, um, not big by any means, but but heavier than me. Um, here comes the view. The drone, the drone is working nicely here. Just to give a little background on why the drone, I was mad at. I, I you know, it's a, it's the Skydio, whatever. I bought three batteries for it. One of the batteries, right out of the box, on this this attempt actually just didn't charge. Well, this part was new. <laughs> Let's uh, quick quick dismount. I didn't, I'm not even gonna try to ride that. I'm not even try to ride that. That actually proved to my benefit because Stefano did try to ride that and I think made it most of the way, but ended up going slower. Here's another angle of me <laughs> going up. The mudslides were not kind to, to this canyon, although the rain was. So you can see all this greenery, uh, flowers everywhere. The blooms have been outrageous this year. You can kind of see the yellow on the side, but the, a little bit further north, there's all these poppy fields. It's like bright orange. Um, last time that happened, uh, when I was here, Stefano reminded me it was when all those all the brush that grows, then there's more stuff to burn in the fall. So hopefully, we don't get that, and we just get an end to this, uh, you know, 30-year drought or whatever. Stefano still chasing me. I, he, uh, so Stefano did lose some time uh, trying to ride that. This was the drones kind of losing me here, and I could hear it, but the shot actually looked really good. Um, but yeah, one of the batteries on the drone thing didn't work straight out of the box and I and I emailed them just assuming I'd get a new one and they said it's out of warranty, it was like 14 months old, uh, so you don't get a, a replacement uh, because you're supposed to charge it and then let it drain. It clearly says that in the fine print that nobody's ever read. So I'll not forgive them for that $75 battery. Um, but this shot looks good. The, the follow with the beacon, it works fine, but don't buy this drone. Um, but this is a this is a cool shot. I'm very mixed in <laughs> my review on this product. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that's pretty cool. Beautiful day. Now it's now it's finding me. Um, so here I am. I am. I am up. Uh, Stefano. I thought Stefano would catch me here, but due to the due to the roots landslide, uh, I held my ground. Um, it, it starts to kind of flatten out and then it kicks a little bit. So the way you pace this, uh, I've mentioned this in the Roca Corba video where because it's so steep at the beginning and then it flattens, I, my effort was proportional. So I, I pushed it in the first bit and then, uh, and then my effort flattened. So basically the, the pacing strategy here is destroy yourself in the first half and then kind of hang on to whatever speed you can when it doesn't matter that much. Uh, so this is me 
uh, about to finish it off. This ridge kind of lumps up and down, but at the very end, there's a there's a, an overlook that shows almost nothing uh, on a day like today. And here's where the drone just pieced out. <laughs> decided the drone's like ah, oh, you know what i'll enjoy the view a little bit i'm tired of following uh this creepy skinny guy i'll leave the shot in too because it looks great a little uh, a little pretty malibu for you uh, but I'll, I'll also leave my my breathing uh, barely behind me stefano was complaining on the ride here about how uh on the ride here that morning about how he, he needs a warm-up uh and gravel races start just so fast and so early in the morning that it's hard to do that uh, and then I hit him with much harder. All I do is just go rip a short climb with almost no warm-up. Stefano was visiting me on the way down to the Belgian Waffle Ride where he came 17th, which I think was more of his goal anyway. Of course, he's mainly training for the Whiskey Tango Fondo. Oh, we all made it. That's tough, huh? But I got it. The uh, you you didn't have your live segment, but you were you were you were close Somewhere behind. Close. Yeah. Uh, good times. Though. Like this is just a taste of. Uh, all the great hiking trails and dirt that I've been enjoying uh, from here. And it goes all the way to my house and all the way up Malibu. So hopefully more, uh, more of this stuff. Right, so we had, we had all of our stuff in these bushes. All right, that's mine. Those are yours, sir. <laughs> so we had to go back down that 15% that thing. And then we're gonna go back up and hope the drone is still in those bushes. A lot of hiding stuff in the bushes for uh, for an adult in general. You guys mind getting a photo of us? Mm. Yeah. Oh. What do you want to do to end it? I guess just ride back down the hill.